In Wisconsin, thousands of children are exposed to lead every year. Some with levels so high, they're poisoned. Yeah, it can leave children with lower IQs, learning difficulties, and a greater likelihood of behavioral problems. So what's being done to prevent lead poisoning? And what happens when lead is found in a home? NBC26's Cassandra Duvall has tonight's special assignment. Crystal Wozniak and her son Cassius are living in a new home after months of problems caused by something that Crystal never even thought of. I'm constantly like grabbing my kid's hand, don't touch that, don't do this, don't do that. Lead. When Cassius was tested at nine months old, his level came back at 18 micrograms per deciliter after living in this home. According to the CDC, lead levels above five micrograms per deciliter is when the agency recommends public health actions be taken. You never know how much is in a home until they, they come to visit. Because Cassius's lead levels were so high, the Brown County Health Department came into the home. Crystal was told the child needed to move. We were starting to remodel it when we found out that we pretty much weren't able to work on the house any longer. Crystal says now she's worried about the future for her son. So, so I decorate with but the future is now for Sarah Flores and her daughter Maddie. Maddie was lead poisoned as an infant. A very high lead level, it was 15 at the time. Throwing up for no reason, developmental delays, something that's continuing to hurt Maddie. And it can be in toys, it can be in water and paint. Don't ever trust anybody but your instincts. If you think something's going on, check it out. From 2011 to 2013, more than 17,000 Wisconsin children under six years old were found to have lead exposures. If a child ingests a paint chip the size of your fingernail, that can cause lead poisoning. Stacy Ross, the public health nurse with the Brown County Health Department, goes into homes after lead exposure is found. It gets into the air and it lands either on the windowsill or on the ground by the window. Ross explains lead exposure in children can cause brain damage, organ problems, behavioral issues, even death. I recommend that for any parent that we work with is if your child hasn't been tested at one and two, you should absolutely go and ask them to be tested. Most children are tested, but not all. If a family receives state assistance, their tests are covered, but it's not mandatory for private insurance. I think a problem is, is um, some providers don't realize that lead is an issue anymore because they felt like, okay, it's been removed out of gasoline and it's not in lead, there's no lead paint being sold anymore. But lead can be found in more than paint, windows, old pipes, and porches. Before you do any renovations, find out what are the safest ways to do that. In Brown County, 50% of the housing stock was built before 1978, before lead paint was banned. These maps show Green Bay and Appleton with the number of children lead poisoned with a blood level at or above 10 micrograms per deciliter. Whatever is identified as being a potential lead hazard, inspectors have to write orders on that. For Crystal Wozniak, she's taking it upon herself, working with groups like Lead Safe America, handing out lead test kits to people in Northeast Wisconsin. It all happened for a reason maybe and it was time for me to go. Sarah Flores and Maddie want their story to serve as a learning tool for parents. Don't ever let them feel like they're different, but don't ever let anybody else treat it like it doesn't exist. The Brown County Public Health nurse says lower income families are more at risk for lead poisoning. They tend to live in older homes and rent those homes. Cassandra Duval, NBC26. So with the thousands of cases of lead poisoning in Northeast Wisconsin, many may be wondering how do you get help? Well, we'll take a closer look at the resources and funds that are available to those living in the area. That's coming up Monday on NBC 26, live at 10. And for more information about lead, visit our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.